there, my name's Tilly and today I decided to start getting my life organized a little bit. Um, so being the new year, Christmas time, New Year's Eve, family over, kids on holidays and I as a casual have been working the whole holidays so my entire house is just a bomb site and everything is so cluttered and I find with me personally the more clutter there is in my house, the more stressed out I am, more anxious I am. And I just really want this year to be as smooth as possible. So not so much like a New Year's resolution because I don't really believe in those. But more just having an expectation of how this year is going to go and trying to make it a little bit easier for me by having it all organised. Um, I decided that I will do my kitchen first. So in my house, the layout is a front door and then our kitchen sliding door. And everybody always uses the kitchen sliding door to enter the house instead of the front door. So our kitchen is the first point of contact with the whole house. And I feel like if I have that all organized and set up, then that will make me feel more comfortable knowing that people will walk into my house thinking oh she's so organized look at her fancy tupperware drawer um so i have some flybys money which i can use in stores like kmart and target and coles so i think i've got almost 300 dollars worth of flybys dollars so i'm going to transfer those over and go into kmart maybe target they're in two separate shopping centers though um, and get some things to organize the kitchen with. I'm going to go into my kitchen and pull everything out of the cupboard. Oh my God, guys, stop fighting. And organize the cupboards individually. I'm gonna donate a whole heap of um, things, that utensils and mugs and whatnot that I just don't use. Um, I have 10,000 mugs. We don't need 10,000 mugs. There's just two adults and three kids in this house and the dogs and cats don't drink out of mugs. So we don't need the 10,000 mugs. Um, there have been the bushfires around here that a lot of people have lost their homes into so I think now's a good time to start donating stuff. So I'll start off with the kitchen and then go through each and every room. Um, I'll have more things to donate. So do that and try and see if I can write a list of things that I need as far as containers and organization things go. Um, and hopefully I won't actually have to spend a dollar because I can just use all my flyboy flybys dollars instead, which is still, I suppose, money, but money that I've saved from using my flybys card. All right, so the two big kids are over at my mum's house and Luca's in daycare, so I'm going to drive up, grab the two big kids, and then we can start organizing the kitchen before I have to pick up the little guy. Alrighty, so I've grabbed the big kids up from my mum's house and they're home now. So I'm going to go through all of my cupboards in my kitchen and pull everything out. Make a list, I've got my pen and paper, of things that I would like to pick up from Kmart. I've transferred all my Flybys money over to like my Flybys card now. So I've got $200 on my Flybys card and Flybys money. So I technically have $200 to spend in Kmart. Don't know if I'm actually going to spend that much, but who knows? Once you get into Kmart, you usually come home with an elephant. So I'm going to make a pile of things I want to donate, things that need to be chucked out, and then writing a list of things that I need to pick up to help organize all the drawers. This is our cups drawer and down um, or cupboard rather, and down here is our plates and bowls. And then I've got like Luca's little baby plates in here. It is so cluttered and you can see that we have 10,000 mugs with no need for 10,000 mugs. So I'm going to pull them all out, pick which ones I want to keep and then donate. And then any broken ones are going to get chucked.
here are all our drink bottles, our cooler, beer coolers and keep cups, like takeaway mugs. I think half of these can go. And look at how many different types of mugs we have. It's like a mug for every occasion. We've got our Christmas mug. We've got our mummy mugs. We've got our football mugs. So I think a lot of those can go as well. And then when you look over here, we've only got like a select few plastics for the kids. And look how many glasses we have. Two. We have two glasses. And whatever this is. Shot glass. So I definitely need to cut down all of our mugs and get more glasses because there's just a ridiculous amount of mugs. Um, so I think we've got to keep all of these plastic plates. We still use them all for all like three kids. Bowls are fine. No, nothing matches, but that's life. Um, small plates, big plates, that's all fine too, I think. I think it's mostly just our keep cups and drink bottles and mugs we need to downsize. So I'll just quickly make a pile of donate and throw and wipe down my cupboards. Keep, 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 donate, keep, keep, donate, donate, <laughs> uh, keep. Ten thousand tea towels. So I got back from my Kmart haul and I had so much fun. I had three kids with me, but they all behaved really well. Only two of them were actually mine. Um, so I ended up transferring over 200 point uh, 200 dollars worth of points to my flybys card and when i went into kmart i grabbed almost everything i needed i think there was just a few things i couldn't find and i was two trolleys full like i took two trolleys myself and violet were pushing trolleys around kmart just stacking it with so much stuff um and it's kind of got to a point where it was just too much for us to push around Kmart anymore so I just stopped looking for a few things but I got the majority of the stuff that I wanted um, and a few little extras as well which probably made up for the stuff that I didn't get. Um, all up I spent I think $135, I don't know where the receipt's gone, um, which I'm really happy with because I actually did got get a lot of stuff. So let's have a little look. These. I got two of these and um, I saw on another blog, I think it's just another mummy blog, um, she uses these for, to keep shopping bags in. So I use reusable shopping bags. I also have um, a whole heap of leftover plastic bags from back when plastic bags were a thing. So I keep them and I reuse them as well. So I have two of these one for the reusable ones and one for the plastic ones that I also use for reusable things but I also use the plastic bags um, to fill horse feed like premix horse feeds up as well 
so I do use them a fair bit. I got six glasses. Um, finally, because turns out I don't have that many glasses, so I have six of those. They're just normal glasses, nothing fancy. They're like 75 cents each. 75 cents. Can you believe that, Luca? Hmm. That. Can you see yourself? <laughs> no, you ruined my camera. There we go. Alright, so don't touch. <laughs> um, I got this little um, three drawer bamboo storage unit. This was in the bathroom section. I thought this would be a good place to keep um, some dish cloths and also my dishwasher tablets as well in there. Just make it look a little bit more organised. It's really cute. Um, we'll see how much I can actually fit in there though because it doesn't look that big but we'll see. This wasn't on the list, this is one of the little extras that I saw. It was only like $3 or something like that, so I figured it was a, a safe enough um, extra. It was from like the stationery section, and I thought it would be a good um, bit to put in um, tea bags in there as well. So hopefully that looks good. I don't know if it works. It was just one of those things that I saw on the shelf, and I thought that could work. Over here. What's that? It's a lazy Susan. Can you say lazy Susan? Lazy Susan. It is a lazy Susan. Um, this one I thought maybe for in the fridge for maybe sauces or something or in the pantry for something. I don't know. I just like lazy Susans and it was on my she list. Spin around. It does spin around. That's so I can see that. Wow. Yeah. You, can play, you can play with that there. Just don't break it, okay? Because there's new. Another extra. Who doesn't love baskets? really cheap again I think it was like three dollars or something I'm not entirely sure but I love baskets and there's always a use for them don't know what I'm gonna do with it but baskets are great more baskets originally I had like 10,000 drink bottles and I think I narrowed it down to seven now because I figured that's a safe amount um, there's two adults three kids that's five with two extras just in case so seven drink bottles in the household that will suffice and to store them, I got these stackable, they're stackable bottle holders, um, just in the kitchen section. I figure that it could sit a drink bottle in there nicely, and then we can stack them up. So I think I got six of those, maybe. I don't know if I got six or seven, I can't remember, because I think that was the point when Lucas started cracking it. So I've also got a long, clear box as well. Hopefully this fits in my drawer. I got it with the intent to put the long utensils in. Um, I have really long stuff that just don't fit in my smaller ones of these. I have smaller ones, small square ones like this in the drawers already and hopefully this will fit the long stuff just so it looks more organized in the drawers um, so things aren't stacked up on top of each other and people are like pulling everything out to get to something in the bottom. If there's everything just laid nice and neatly on here, easier to get. In theory. Oh, little extras as well. I got a life planner too. It was just cute and it's just a little to-do list as well on the inside. Um, it was like things to do, um, do later. And what I love about today is what it has written on the bottom of it, which I thought was really, really sweet because I think it is important um, to think about the positive in every day. Something I don't do enough of, I don't think. So that is a quote. That was an extra as well. <laughs> Labels. Extra. And these are the little containers that I've already had a few of. I've got two more. These are the ones that are too small um, that I've got the big one for, but they're great for other things in the pantry. I got these as well. Um, important documents. This one, so birth certificates, um, other things, various other important documents, marriage certificates for the future, um, and manuals and warranties as well, because we've got 10,000 warranties and I keep them in the kitchen drawer, which is not really practical. I keep this here and then keep it on our bookshelf, which is just over here. Um, it's more organized and they're cute. I think they're really cute and they come with like little stickers and stuff as well on the inside, which I thought was really cute. And lucky last. I just got this El Cheapo bin, um, it's just to keep all of our 
bottles and cans that we cash in at the can return. Um, so Tom generally just leaves all these beer cans laying around and then I sit them down next to our recycling bin. So not practical and sometimes we just use the um, beer boxes as well and stack them up in the beer boxes. Uh, but it just looks gross. So if I can keep them in a actual bin, um, I think that might look a little bit tidier and more organised in my kitchen. Because generally the first thing you see when you walk into the house is a big pile of empty beer bottles and that's not cool. So let's go make it happen. So it's taken a few days but I finally finished doing the drawers and cupboards. There's still just a few little things that I want to get and kind of do like the final touches and a few things I want to replace. Um, so I'll just show you what I have done which I'm happy to call the final product. I also went back to Kmart and got a few more things. I got another one of those organizers that I ended up using for tea to use for Tupperware lid containers um, which I saw a story on that just another mummy blog has suggested using and a lot of people are using it and it seems to work really well so we'll just see if it holds up and um, if the kids when they're unpacking the dishwasher can continue putting things back in their overhead spot. Sorry, we were going to start, we'll probably start the top drawer. Doesn't look very organised but trust me it is so I end up getting one of these long ones um, for our longer utensils. Um, also it's nice and close to the stove top so that it's easy um, accessible. So I've got that and then our lesser used things up the back. And this one, here are all my containers. So this is what I was talking about, the little um, organizer here. So I've also got Luca's um, squeezies for his yogurts in there and he has pegs that he likes to do at the bottom. Um, and then all the lids for my containers. Containers stacked nice and neatly, popcorn, a few extra little bits and pieces. I wash and reuse all my containers, so like my um, yogurt containers and butter containers, everything like that. And down here I've got this basket, which I originally used for this stuff but it was too close to the stove and I was worried about fires so now it is holding all of my tea towels so that's in there and then just um, oven mitts and um, you know baking bits and bobs and that's the kids lunch boxes so they're just there for now but when school goes back they'll obviously be in their school bag in here I don't know if I showed you but this is like where the slow cooker and uh, rice cooker and that were but now I've taken them out and in here we've got our reusable shopping bags and the plastic shopping bags which I also use so they are technically reusable as well in here was where all the dog food and cat food and dog stuff were now it's where I have rice cooker, slow cooker, pancake, waffle and mixer in there. It's just like a perfect space for it. Now this is way more organized. Got our plates, kids bowls and plastic cups with straws there. I've also got Tom's like beer holders. In here are the kids plates, the individual ones. Bowls up here and mugs which I have downsized significantly and glasses and I absolutely love these. This is to hold the drink bottles and it just looks so neat. It's easy for everyone to just grab one when they want it. It's great. And then our reusable mugs here. I use these to make my um, chia puddings. So they sit in there until I make my big batch and I chuck them in the fridge. Um, and then up there I've reorganized the um, where all our medical stuff is. So I've popped all of the animal stuff, like all the grooming gear and medical things up here and Daisy's um, outfits <laughs> and the sea monkeys that never were. Now in the pantry, my pantry wasn't too bad to begin with but I have just reorganized it. Um, I do need a few more labels. So this is where I keep all my nuts and my seed mixes in here. Um, and then over here is where I just keep like my um, stock and cooking accessories. Um, great extra stock. Here is the rice 
got it on a lazy susan paints um i want a label here just to say that there's sources in here so i've got yeah pasta sauces and various other sauces um extra sources that um are just refills up the back behind there uh in here i've got um our condiments in here and some stacks and our crackers love this so cute and down here cooking oils and our pasta and oats and then that's just our salt peppers and um, seasonings in there down here got our milk we go through a lot of milk so I just buy like the big bulk pack of them and then some baking needs I reuse like I said before all the pasta jars and everything so we've got our coconut and um, breadcrumbs so I do need to get labels for those haven't got them yet and down here we've got our flour caster sugar brown sugar my sugar free sugar and extra coffee some super dupers because Everyone likes the zero do pack. Some more baking things there, like our food coloring, which I also use for like kids, um, you know, play making play doh and whatnot too. And some cupcake fellows there. Under the sink. So, all our sink washing things here. My general spray, which I make up with this one here. So, I have this, I use it for, to mop walls, to mop the floors yes I've mopped my walls um, and to also refill this just as an all-purpose cleaner too and apparently it smells great I have no sense of smell so I'll just have to take people's word for it um, a window cleaner extra gusher um, little duster this little guy is so good I think he's so adorable so I keep the dish tabs in there for a dishwasher and then up here it's empty but it does fit like a scouring sponge really well in there so I've got the spare one in there now this is so cool I think it's just really cute I love the color gray it just goes with everything but it's what I keep all the spare newspaper in so we use newspaper to stuff our bin lining and the compost bin lining to clean windows so we use a lot of newspaper so I put all after we finish reading the newspaper I pop it in there I've popped my teas there um, very very cute that's where I keep my favorite herbal teas um, Tom's teas are here so he oh, I drink normal tea too but he drinks it more than I do and then I've just got my um, peppermint and other little ones I I'd less used but up there as well and in here it's just my onions and um, garlic I do keep my potatoes here too but um, because I don't really eat carbs I don't really buy that many potatoes unless it's flowers and the drawer time so this needs replacing eventually but I gave it a good clean out um, and downsized a few things too and just threw out stuff that was obviously broken don't know why it was in there um, bottle openers and just a few tea strainers and whatnot in there this one is our just bits and bobs drawer, the kids icy pole makers, some cookie cutters, a blender I honestly never use because I've got a big blender. In here is uh, the actual bits and bobs. So all of the party gear, leftover party glue gear. I need to get another container to pop all the candles in. Um, I've popped like uh, all our wooden spoons and knives and forks in here just an old glad wrap bin liners and then the reusable bowls so cute i bought these on my second kmart trip they're magnetic clips so what i've done on the fridge is made one there for school stuff so when the kids come home from school all their notes anything can go on that one and then house things like bills to pay or shopping lists or anything like that can go on that one so i've organized that like that pretty well organized and i really want to replace <laughs> this so i like to keep something between like the metal things and the table just because it stains very very easily um i you probably see a few of these cloths laying around my house the surgeon's um 
hand towels. Um, the hospital gives it to all to my work, which is a veterinary clinic, and we get so many of them, so the nurses just grab them to use them as like scrap towels at home. So I've got 10,000 of these. Um, but yeah, I want to get a cute little basket or something just to pop in here like a, yeah, neater looking thing there, just for a little coffee station. So semi-organized kitchen fridge. So I just got like our berries here because they go really quickly. I will get like a reusable container for them. Um, these are our like creamy sauces like egg sauces like mayonnaise, mayoli and whatnot and our regular sauces, mustard, tomato sauce. They're just inside these little plastic tub things I got from Kmart. I love them. I want to go back and get 20 more because I can use them in all the rooms really. Um, down here on the second shelf I have pre-chopped up um, cauliflower and broccoli. I'll be getting um, labels for this because cauliflower and broccoli are the two um, main vegetables that I go to and having them pre-chopped and in these awesome containers again from from Kmart um, just makes life so much easier especially on the days when I'm working um, late so I can come home and I don't have to worry about chopping veggies. Um, our coffee beans are in here and then all our meats for um, the week so I keep our meats in the freezer and then every night I take out what we're having the following night. Um, extra eggs because up here I have the open eggs and our like butter and then just our little bits and bobs so some more sauces and olives and um, open things here. Beer, milk, yogurt and sneaky soft drink. Down here, less organised really, it's just our little crisper. Um, veggies in these boxes as well, the clear ones which I love. And then sneaky leftover Christmas chocolates in there. Ta -da. Alrighty, well I've got to go to work now. Um, but that is pretty much it as far as the organization of my kitchen goes i'm pretty happy with it everything was kmart i didn't buy anything from anywhere else um and i used all my flybyers money as well so i didn't even end up using anything out of pocket which is even better so basically i reorganized my entire kitchen for free which is just so good because i don't have a lot of money to spare anyway um but just keep that in mind if you have a flybys card and you're just always like using it when you go shopping and whatever and you just don't know where you're at with how many um, points you have go online go on your account look at how many points you have and how much that is in dollars and have it transfer transferred over as um, Flybys money because you can spend it at Kmart or Target or Liquorland even which is good you definitely need Liquorland because I cleared out most of the liquor out of my liquor cupboard um, but yeah, it's just amazing. So and it's something that just completely slipped my mind. I'm always in the habit of using flybys when I go to like Coles and Target and, and Kmart, but I've never actually sat there and looked at how many points I actually had and how, much, how many dollars that ended up being. And I ended up having like almost $300 worth of um, points. I only transferred over um, $200 into flybys money. And I think I've got $4 remaining or something left on my card. Um, so I spent almost $200 on organization stuff and it wasn't just for the kitchen. I also got little bits and bobs too. Like I got those organizers um, for all our files and I got kitty litter and stuff too. So it wasn't just um, home organizing things. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you later.